Hey guys, I just want to show you my uh, rainwater collection system at my house. Uh, it's a work in progress. It's, it's going to get painted. Um, but you see, I have a kind of a flatter roof uh, configuration. And uh, they're not flat, but they're lower pitch. So half the house will drain into this. Uh, it'll come down to the first flush device, which is about 10 feet of 4 inch pipe. Um, and it's uh, strapped to the house with five or six big uh, stainless steel hose clamps and a 2x4 it's attached really good um, then down here I just have a bypass here with about 2 inch ball valve that goes into my, my normal gutter that was here um, I might cut that off make it look a little better um, but anyway so like uh, I got the idea from a lot of other people on YouTube here. Um, put a there's a bottle a bottle gets shoved up in there, and uh, when it floats to the top, it seals on there. There's a black hat piece there, and it, it seals out floaters from from getting to this tube. So I guess I should back up here. When the water fills up this first flush, all the dirty water, about six or seven gallons, it starts trickling all the way to the tanks which I'll show you next so here's the pipe gravity feeds rainwater into this tank um, like I said 275 gallon IBC tote I'm working on the manifold system that's going to connect both these but I'll talk about that in part two um, so I got a little window screen here this is the uh, vent and probably eventually some type of overflow. Now you can see I haven't glued these. These don't really need to get glued at this point. It's still testing. Um, and this is full. This this filled up. Well, you can't see anything in there, but it's very full. It filled up pretty quick uh, and some good rains we had. Um, torrential downpours actually it's pretty crazy for the summer um, but anyway so I'll give you guys a little peek at what I'm doing here there will be a pump involved in the system so stay tuned for part two possibly three there, I took off the uh, the tea I normally have on there and the filter just to show you the flow I'm getting right now it's pouring pouring down rain and uh, getting pretty good flow. I was noticing this screen actually was was clogging up, and it was overflowing. The tank's not really full, so uh, you know, work in progress. So I didn't glue any of these pipes just for that reason, because I'm still testing to figure out what works best. Ideally, I want, I want to get the lowest maintenance rainwater collection system. You know, I don't want to be out here uh, tweaking stuff in the rain. Just to give you an idea how much uh, just pressure we're getting just off the gravity of the tank, I'll show you. This is a three-quarter inch ball valve, so it's a pretty big opening. So, see lots of pressure there. Before I show you tanks, I wanted to comment on these uh, this system that that a lot of people are using. It's it doesn't work as good as I thought it would. It it does drip, and it it slowly will drain this whole pipe. That's what it's supposed to do. But to get this off, once once it's just a little bit of dirt has clogged here, just the one use, it's very difficult. In fact, I've been using. This huge pipe wrench, which is really less than ideal. I, I shouldn't have to, to torque on this thing uh, with this. And uh, I still can't even get it tight enough to seal. I, I'd have to use some plumber's tape. So I think I'm going to look for a better solution than this. Um, I might, might keep this clean out here, but I might get a little, a small hose, maybe a little tiny valve, like just a dripper that would just go into here. So. Anyway, that's my experience with that system. Started to rain again. 
I don't need any more water, the tank's full. So. And I wanted to show you what's inside here too. So they drain this, there's still gonna be some water. More, more constant here than a lot of places. Like if you're down in Texas or somewhere dry, you only get a few rain events a year. It, it makes a lot of sense. Um, here, I guess it makes some sense too, but maybe not as much. And it, it all depends on everybody's roof. You know, the pitch. Mine's really a low pitch system. Oh wow. <laughs> All right, first flush, I like you now. I don't know where the bottle is. <laughs> there should be a bottle in here. There was last time. Anyway. Still learning, guys. Hope this helps you make a system. I know there's so many systems on YouTube, um, but they're all different. You know, everyone's house is different. So I think I learned a ton watching other people's, and I still had to do some head scratching to figure out how to, just, you know, configure my system. You know, because everybody's house is different. And everybody wants their tank different places. Um, my whole goal with mine is to grow grass, so or to water my lawn. So I have these three grass patches, and I didn't want to pay for city water. And, uh, even in Seattle, it's uh, about $200 extra a month during the summer. You can see I have a really dry lawn there too. So, free water is good water.